All right, so let's talk about WooCommerce shortcodes. Even though it sounds technical, no coding skills are required here. They are basically small lines of code that you can copy and then paste into your site to get different functionalities. Now, WooCommerce shortcodes help you display products in different ways. I'll quickly show you how to do all of this and that will give you a good overall picture on how to use WooCommerce shortcodes. Let's start with a new page. And by the end, this blank page will actually look like this product page with different plans on it. And we will use shortcodes to do so. So let's get back to the blank page. Then add a heading by clicking this plus sign and change the heading size to H3. Then search for the shortcode widget and add that here. Now it's time to add a first shortcode here, but there are some formatting rules here. You need to always write shortcodes in lowercase, use underscores for text and spaces for variable separation. Enclose the value within double quotation marks and the whole shortcode within the square bracket. To extract or add the new plant products to our page, we need to write products limit equals six. This code limits the output to six. Then columns equals three, order by equals ID, order equals DESC and category equals large plants, medium plants, small plants. Now when we save and view the page, we can see the updated page with a list of new plants added to our store. All right, next let's use shortcodes for contact forms like this. To do that, first we need to install the contact form plugin, then go back to our site and create a container. Then add a heading and drop the shortcode block. Then let's go to the contact forms homepage and copy the default shortcode for it. Then come back, paste the contact form shortcode here and save it. Refresh your website and you'll see this. Next, let's create a sale page like this using shortcodes. Create the container, then add the heading, then the shortcode widget here and add this shortcode to it to add items for sale. And it's done. All right, you can also create a new single product page like this. So just open a new page add the heading of your product, then the shortcode widget. Now add this code. This code creates a page for the product ID equals 235. Let's save it and view the page. And yeah, you can customize this later as you wish. Now we're going to create a page like this showing different categories side by side. The code for this is product underscore categories limit equals four, order by equals name, order equals DESC. You can display the categories in descending or ascending order. Now, shortcodes are helpful in tackling pagination problems. So let's create a recent product page. Add a heading called recent products. After that, we select the shortcode option and write this code. Here we can see that we are limiting it to a total of four recent products with two in each column and sorting by popularity. Okay, to create a featured product page like this, we need to first mark some products as featured. To do that, we need to click on the star icon here, which is inside the product list on all the products. Now back to the website editor page. We just follow the usual steps of creating a container and adding a header. But the header is called featured products. Then we need to select a shortcode block below the header and write our code. I'll put this quickly. To show the related products like this, then place it in a block titled related products. We can write this shortcode. Now let's use a scenario to understand short codes in detail. You created a container, then a header called pagination, and finally selected a short code to write the following code. 
upon reloading the site, you are not satisfied with the content alignment on our page. The problem is that all the products are on the same page and you want there to be only two rows of content. So how can you edit the shortcut to enable pagination? We can do this by adding the attribute paginate equals true, column equals three, and limit equals six to the pre-existing shortcodes. And that's it. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.